Hello BSD community. I wanted to give a quick uh, update after our first day back from vacation. So I'm recording this on Tuesday morning. First of all, thank you to all of our parents and our faculty and staff um, for making the first day back smooth despite the ongoing challenges that COVID uh, presents to us. Um, over the holiday, over the 12 days that we were off and yesterday, including yesterday, we had 260-ish uh, cases reported to us. Uh, that's student and staff cases, so that averages about 21 cases a day if I divide it out over those days. Um, that's at a higher rate than we had prior to Christmas, even when that was a high rate. We averaged about 16 new cases per day um, prior to Christmas. Um, our, as we go through this crisis, this renewed crisis of COVID, um, our purpose uh, continues to be, our focus continues to be, to remain in in-person learning. Last year wasn't great for a lot of kids, and it took us a while to reestablish routines, habits, um, just the routine of school this fall. And we will continue to balance the need to be in school, in-person learning, with uh, safety protocols that we get and follow from the health department. But our goal is to continue, and I know for hearing from parents, even hearing from teachers, students, in-person learning is our choice. So we want to stick with it. Um, uh, despite some of the challenges we're facing. So what are the risks or the challenges to maintaining an in-person learning? One is staffing challenges. We have to have teachers and staff and adults to run the schools. It's a big operation. Um, so every day we are closely monitoring our teacher and staff uh, attendance and absences and seeing where we have holes. We're a big district. I hope that we'll be able to move people around and plug holes uh, as needed. But that is one threat to us if we have more absences than we can uh, handle and still safely run the schools. Uh, at this point today, we're okay, but I can't predict what the future will bring. The uh, a second related threat to, um, to continuing to be in person um, is uh, spread of the virus in schools. And I think that's why it's really important that we have stuck with and will continue to stick with universal masking Mask, nothing is perfect, but masks work in stopping, slowing the spread of the virus in school. So as long as we can have people coming into school and we don't see significant spread of the virus in school, um, we'll continue to push ahead with, with um, in-person learning. Uh, if we see spread in a particular school, we could go to uh, online learning for a week or so, like we did with Miller Heights way back in September. Um, but uh, we haven't had to do that since then, and I'm hopeful that we'll be able to continue to um, not have significant spread at all in schools, and that's due to the universal masking. The other way we can uh, make sure that we stay in in-person learning is by getting vaccinated. If you're vaccinated, get boosted, please. Um, if kids aren't vaccinated, let's get them boosted. Uh, let's get them vaccinated, and then if they need it, boosted, um, because that plays a difference in being able to be in school or whether you're out being quarantined or in isolation if you turn up uh, positive. So I encourage you to continue to talk with your uh, pediatricians, your family practitioners uh, about getting children vaccinated that are not vaccinated. Uh, and the last thing I wanted to mention is that um, transportation, you may have seen this in the news, Lanta's altering routes because they don't have, don't have enough drivers. Other school districts, some school districts have even gone to remote learning for a, a day here or a day there because they don't have enough bus drivers. We face similar challenges with transportation, but our goal is we will not uh, close the district to remote learning because of a shortage of, a shortage of bus drivers um, uh, due to COVID illness or other reasons. So we should be prepared, and I'll come out, we're developing plans for this that will get out to you and to the community, that there, there may well be, uh, there have been, and there may well be more times where we can't make all the bus runs. And you'll get a call in the morning that says, um, or hopefully the night before with our new planning, um, that, hey, your child's bus is not going to run tomorrow, and you have the responsibility to get them to school. Now, about 5,000 of our 13,000 students are walkers, so they never take the bus. So they're coming uh, no matter what's going on with transportation. Um, but there may be times when we are not in a position 
to transport everybody who's eligible for a bus to school on a given day. Our goal is to have a plan in advance and communicate that to parents. But in my mind, it's a much better option than saying, oh, we don't have enough drivers, we're making the whole district go remote. Um, tough times require some tough decisions, and we'll continue to keep, inform keep you informed of that and what our plans are for any modified transportation schedules going forward. Uh, so I anticipate the next two, three weeks to be difficult and to be tough as far as uh, staffing, transportation, keeping ourselves safe. But I think if we stick in there together, kids have been great in wearing the masks. Um, we stick to our masking in school. Um, we keep kids home if they're demonstrating symptoms um, so we don't uh, risk spreading it, the potential virus to other uh, kids. And we'll keep a close eye on our staffing so that we can make sure that we have appropriate staffing levels to operate the school safely. Um, it's going to be day, to, day by day um, as we moderate, moder monitor that, but I do not anticipate having to go to remote learning um, as long as we uh, stay on top of all of those issues that I just described. Our goal again, the purpose, continue in-person learning um, despite the challenges that we're facing. Uh, let's stick together as a community. Uh, uh, we know that this is not an individual health crisis, it's a community health crisis. Um, we need to hang in there together and get through the next two, three weeks that I think will be some of the roughest that we've faced. Thank you. Stay safe.